It's the rest of the SEC presented by Geico here on CBSSports.com along with Spencer Tillman. I'm Jason Horwitz. Tim Brando unable to join yeah, he's us. He's busy. He is busy. <laughs> Man, it's a day night devil header on CBS, so uh, unable to join us here, but we'll fill the we'll fill the void. It's okay. You bet. Yeah, we we it's a bigger desk this year, so <laughs> two people. It's a little spacey, but we'll, we'll it's a little spacious, but we'll be fine. Let's talk about the rest of the SEC and let's get into Auburn a little bit because after last week winning at Florida, this team's got some momentum now, and they were taking on a lesser Vanderbilt team today, but certainly. Certainly, they have remembered how to run the football. Yeah, what they've done is they've recaptured the, the essence of what really made them unique. Brad Lester's back in the lineup. Their running back was out for academic reasons. And so when you look at what they're able to do today in the ground game, big win today, 35-7. to 7, People say, well, Vanderbilt's Vanderbilt. But that Vanderbilt is a very much improved ball club. And that just goes to show you uh, that Auburn is for real now. Let me ask you this, because it, let's say LSU loses, maybe not to Florida, but mm-hmm. somewhere in this season. Mm-hmm. Is it possible... Auburn can run the table and be the representative of the SEC West. No, it's possible. Even after the Are non- they good enough? Oh, I think they're good enough. I mean, again, nothing, anything can happen in the SEC. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're on the West or the East. Anything can happen, Jason. We've seen it year in and year out. With the recaptured ground game and what Will Muschamp, their defensive coordinator, has been able to do, and he demonstrated that in the win over Florida, this team can come back. They could be hitting their stride. They're young. Their players could be getting mature at the right time. So I wouldn't count them out. And, and this defense has carried the team in the past. You and may have to carry them again this season. Uh, other elsewhere in the SEC West, Ole Miss, Alabama, Mississippi State, all won out of conference. Mm-hmm. With those three teams, Alabama struggled against Houston. Mississippi sure. State uh, for a little bit struggled uh, today as well. But is it possible that the uh, that the Bulldogs are the best of those three teams? Yeah, it's very possible. And again, but I want to kind of set the table for this one because that that Houston ball club uh, is a good ball club. Is, is a yeah. very good ball club. Art Browse has put together some tremendous offensive weapons, and so that that game was an upset alert for me. But I think Mississippi State is an outstanding ball club, and I, and I say that I'm obviously not stretching. They still are Mississippi State, but they're competitive, and they've demonstrated that. And and you know when you watch them play, one thing that they have is tremendous heart. They they never give up, and yep. they go 60 minutes, and so you better have it strapped up when you come to play. And that comes straight from the coach, Sylvester Croom. Now, four, Mississippi State only two wins away from a bowl, mm-hmm. so they, they have a good shot at going to a bowl game. All right, let's get into stock up, stock down here around the rest of the country. So this is stock up after uh, the early parts of uh, the season here, the first weekend of October. Boston College still undefeated, a chance, to, depending on what else happens, to be in the top five after this week. Mm-hmm. Maryland, another big win. And Spence, I know you got you got to like Kansas. I love Kansas. I mean, you look at what the Mark Mangino has done there. Again, another one of those guys from that uh, Bob Stoops tree of coaches is doing an outstanding job. We call him Cannon for short, <laughs> nickname. And you look, Kansas is really playing well. They're solid on defense, and they've got a couple of playmakers. So uh, look out for the Jayhawks. And the Jayhawks, five and zero, and they won at Manhattan mm-hmm. for the first time in 18 years. And then Illinois. You know, everyone. Yeah. We, we've talked about Illinois before, and we've previewed Illinois' game this weekend. I, I don't think a lot of people around the country are surprised that Illinois ended the longest winning streak in the country. Well, listen, they deserve every bit of credit that's coming their way. When you talk about Ron Zook, you know recruiting comes to mind. Yeah. But the guy's turned into a tremendous coach as well, Jason. And to watch him get a little bit emotional behind the big win today was something special because you know what he's given up. We saw Raelius Ben last week, uh, one of the star prizes out of the D.C. area, producing for him. Yeah. So all those young players are now starting to come front runners. And look, they have get uh, Michigan in a couple of weeks at their place. They could wind up being seven and one. You know, an outstanding turnaround. Before a game at Ohio State, and, yeah. and you know, who's to say what Ohio State will be in three weeks? That's what makes college football fantastic. All right, let's get the scout, uh, stock down here, and uh, you know, Miami. <laughs> You know, it looked like a couple weeks ago that they picked themselves back up after that Oklahoma loss and, and just an awful, awful ball game against North Carolina and Butch Davis, who, let's not forget, used to coach there. And then, of course, Louisville. This season has gone upside down with the Friday night loss to Utah. This d- was a difficult week for coaches uh, who – actually, a, a banner week for coaches that left the program to return. Yeah. We saw what <laughs> happened with uh, Steve Spurrier going back to his old ball club and really hammering them a little bit. But you saw the frustration on Randy Shannon's face today, the head coach from Miami. He was frustrated. Look – He pulled the Steve Spurrier. Oh, yes, he did. It, <laughs> Didn't have a visor on, I don't think, but the headsets came off and they were flying. But Butch Davis gets the win, gets their first conference win. It's good to see them doing some good things. They're young. They've only got one conference win, but John Blake, one of the outstanding recruiters in America, is going to get him players. They're going to be well coached up, so look at them down the road. Randy Shannon is certainly a guy that you're not going to be undisciplined. No, absolutely not. And that's something that may be the case right now, but that won't be the case in the future. All right, so we'll plenty more coming up on this weekend. And for all of it, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. And uh, for the hot topic of the day, of course, that's on CBSSports.com as well with this man and Tim Brando. For Spencer Tillman. Good to see you, my man. You too, sir. I'll talk to you on Wednesday when we preview next week's games here on CBSSports.com. I'm Jason Horwitz. Take care.